He may not be an interim president, but young and widely feared, he is one of the most powerful men in Sudan. At 44, Mohammed Hamdan Dagolo is deputy head of the Transitional Military Council. He's emerged as the most prominent member of the group that ousted President Omar al-Bashir. And he's told protesters he's enthusiastic for democracy. We want free and fair elections and for the Sudanese people to pick who they want. But he's also warned them against chaos, a balancing act of garnering support, but also reminding the Sudanese of his troops' reputation for brutality. Known by the nickname Hemedti, he hails from a camel trading family in Darfur, where he rose up the ranks of widely feared Arab militias. A chief, he caught the eye of President al-Bashir, who asked him to lead a campaign against the Darfur insurgency. Part of the notorious Janjaweed, his militias rampaged the region, leaving mass rape and murder in their wake. After the conflict, the militias morphed into the Rapid Support Force, and they continued their scorched earth campaigns in Darfur five years ago, and were also deployed in Yemen, garnering the support of Saudi Arabia, with Hamedi as their leader. Since turning on President al-Bashir, the general has played down his political ambitions. But he has been seen meeting with Western ambassadors and supporters in the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, countries that pledged $3 billion in aid to Sudan last month. Vocal about his refusal to use force on protesters, Hamed T will now have to navigate between his past reputation as a warlord, his ties to the Sudanese military, and his courting of the protest movement.